In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the current and voltage across an RC circuit with differential equations. The question reads, for the circuit shown below, resistance is equal to 1540 ohms, capacitance is equal to 125 microfarad, and E, our voltage source, is equal to 115 volts. If the switch is thrown from position 1 to position 2 at time is equal to 0, find the current and the voltage across the capacitor when the time is 60 milliseconds. Now this question is a continuation of what we did in question 2 of this series. And in question 2 we found out the formulas for the current in a discharging capacitor and that's shown right here. And we also found the voltage across a discharging capacitor and the formula is shown right there. So the first thing that I'll do is substitute these values into both of these formulas. We're told the resistance is 1,540 ohms. So I'll place that into here and there. I have current is equal to E, that's 115. I can replace that as well, over 1,540 times E to the power of negative T over RC. R is 1,540 and our capacitance is 125 microfarad. We need to convert that into farads. So 125 becomes 125 times 10 to the power of negative six. This represents the formula for the current. Now for the voltage, we have V is equal to our power source of 115 volts times E to the power of negative T over this exact statement, 1,540 times 125 times 10 to the power of negative six. Now that I've set up my equations, I can go ahead and find out what this is equal to. So technically I'm finding what one over RC is equal to. Using my calculator, 1,540 times 125 times 10 to the power of negative six. And this gives me 0 0.1925. 0 0.1925. So what I'll do is replace the bottom part here with what I just found. Now that I've done that, I can substitute T is equal to 60 milliseconds. But instead of using milliseconds, I'll just use seconds. To go from milliseconds to seconds, I have to divide this number by 1,000. So if I divide 60 by 1000, I'll end up with 0 0.060. And I'll place this number right here and right here. Starting with this one, we have 115 over 1540 times e to the power of negative 0 0.060 over 0 0.1925. Using my calculator, 115 divided by the following, multiplied by e to the power of negative 0 0.06 divided by 0 0.1925, and this gives us 0 0.0546. Now because capacitance had three significant figures, we should also have three significant figures. So we should stop writing after this 6, but because the number following 6 is 7, this will go up to 0 0.0547, 0 0.0547 amperes. And if you want to be even more visually pleasing, you can change this into milliseconds as well by multiplying it by a thousand, and then you would record your number in milliamps. Now, we'll do the same thing for this calculation. We have V is equal to 115 times E to the power of negative 0 0.060, over 0 0.1925. Using our calculator, starting off with 115, we multiply that by e to the power of negative 0 0.060 divided by 0 0.1925. And this gives us 84 decimal two volts. 84 decimal two volts. And there you have it. That is how to calculate current and voltage via an RC circuit 
with differential equations. Now, if you're still confused about these two equations over here, we derive these equations in question two. So make sure you watch question two. That way you get a better understanding as to how those were found. We'll see you soon.